Hey guys, let me show you how to correctly install Backtrack uh, 5 R3. Um, and I'm going to take you by step by step from the beginning of what you should do. Um, I looked up many tutorials today and I actually posted a video of someone to help me and um, I found out what was wrong. So I looked up many tutorials and it just it left me with, you know, missed so many questions and I got so many errors. It just got me very frustrated. But, um, so I'm gonna try to make it for you guys so you not get as much errors as I do, as I did actually. I'm fine now, but, so I'm gonna take it step by step. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna shut down your computer, okay? Now, I'm, I'm not much to know about computers. Um, there's something called BIOS in it, and you need to, um, correctly, um, I mean, you need to enable virtual technology or whatever. So first thing I want to do, so first thing I want to shut down it and then turn it back on, okay? Now, when you, when it's the start menu, when, you'll see, when it gets to uh, something like, uh, like this, I press delete, you can press F2 or, or whatever, I, don't worry, I'm not going to be using this camera the whole time. So anyways, um, you're going to want to go to, um, I actually have a hard time finding this, it was in, um, might be, it's different for everybody. So, it depends. Alright, so mine was in uh, BIOS features, and it was in, in Intel, uh, I can't really see it, but Intel Virtual Research Technology, and it was disabled. So yours is probably going to be disabled too, if you haven't enabled this, just press enter. And uh, either it's going to say something like that, so I'm going to press, in it, press enable, and I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to press save and exit. There you go. Alright, and um, I'll see you guys once we get onto the computer port. Hey guys, um, you see when I did my crappy camera, sorry, it's like 360 pixels, I don't know, it sucks, but it's the only camera I had to uh, show you what you're supposed to do, so, anyway, so, if, I'm gonna tell you, but anyway, if you go to the, if, so you gotta shut down your computer, then you gotta, uh, put it back on, you're gonna, either, it's gonna get to like a menu like that, or something, and, it's different for everybody, so you're gonna want to kind of look into it and and see, you know, what button you should press. Um, in my case, it was delete. So you get, yours can be F2, F12. It can be anything. Um, I was looking into it, but mine was delete. So, so after you've done that, you go into the BIOS and enable a virtualization uh, technology. So, all right. So once you turn back, so once your computer's back on now, uh, this is where it really begins. So. You want to open Google or whatever your uh, web browser is. Want to type? Uh, this is going to be VirtualBox. I'm going to use VirtualBox. It's just one of the easiest to uh, install and everything. And then you want to go to Downloads. And it doesn't. Um, I did this, uh, so you're going to download this. And I'm going to show you step by step how to get to it. I already have it installed, but I'll show you step by step to um, correctly to install. So you just drag it onto there. Uh, double click it and it's going to press run. Sorry, my little brother not going over. But anyways, you want to, so once it's open, you want to press next. And you, you want to click the top one as it is right now. Click next and you can do all that. Uh, you can do whatever. And I have it installed, you're going to press yes. And um, that's pretty. And then you just install it. So just click out of that. Oops. All right, so once they have that installed, that VirtualBox installed, um, this is when you get Backtrack 5R3, or whatever version. Um, so I just want to literally type in the program name. It should come up as a site. So this is a site, and you want to press Downloads. And uh, you can fill out your information. You don't have to. It's optional, but I personally didn't. So anyways, this is, uh, you can do a backtrack by, we do whatever version you want, I'm going to do a 5 or 3. Alright, so you want to download as a GNOME, or whatever you have, a 32-bit or 64-bit, I personally have a 64-bit, and I, and if you have BitTorrent or uTorrent, or whatever those, uh, torrent things, torrent programs, um, I recommend you download with that, because it's, it, it cuts half of the time, because this, this download could take hours, um, for me. Uh, direct was a, like an hour for this. It was like a half an hour, so it just kind of cut it in half. So you click download, 
I already have it downloaded and everything, so I'm not gonna do it again because it took a while just to um, see that my uses your torrent. But anyways, okay. So once you have that downloaded, um, you want to go to wherever you installed VirtualBox. I'm just gonna search in here. Okay. Now this is when you start getting errors if you don't do it this right. Just pay attention. All right. So then you want to click New. I already have this. So next and whatever your name, I'll put backtrack 5R3 YouTube tutorial. Okay, and you want to click Linux, uh, Linux if you have 32 bit. Um, I will click the regular Ubuntu, I don't know how to spell it, uh, Ubuntu or whatever, or whatever, or 64 bit, whatever. I have 64 bit, so I'll click next, and I would recommend half. Actually, no, um, 30%. I was reading the website, so 30% of your RAM, I suggest, and then leave that. Click next. Uh, dynamically, just click next, whatever. And um, and I recommend about um, 60 gigabytes worth of it, or a little bit over, it does not matter. Click next, finish, finish. All right, so I'll play it now. This is where it gets tricky. Now what you want to do is you want to press uh, settings, and you want to go to um, you want to go to uh, where am I looking for? Uh, you want to go to display first, and you want to just drag that all the way out there to 128. Um, there's a couple different things, and if you want um, a network, if you want internet, um, just click over here. Just leave that. Click adapter to enable the network, and then. Inter and then uh, internal network and just leave that and then you want to go to system processors I recommend half if you want uh, recommend half and enable that acceleration just leave that general advanced description um, I think we got everything we're supposed to alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to storage and you want to press this button right here choose disk okay now this is the um, backtrack five or three, so you can uh, you do or if you have 64 bit, 32 bit, doesn't matter. So press open, then click on that, and I just let me just check over if I have everything. Okay, and if this is not checked, make sure you check that. Okay, so um, yeah, I think we got everything. Okay, so you press OK, and you want to press start. Now this should uh, open. Press enter, press enter again. Now it now this is gonna start up now. This may take a little bit the um I'll get back to you once it's all started up. Okay, so right now it's all a start up and um this is what you're gonna do, of course start X. Alright. So this is where you install Backtrack 5 uh, on your uh, Backtrack 5 R3 on your virtual machine. So you want to press install, and this could take an hour. This could take you know a few hours. It, it could take five minutes, you know. Um, but I, don't, I forget because I walked away from the computer and was installing it. So I don't know how long it took. So all right. So pl uh, pick your country and. Um, yeah, I'm over there. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, so erase the entire disk, and uh, this is where you install it. Forward. And install. Now, this could take a while, or it could take five minutes, I don't know. But I'll get back to you as soon as it's downloaded. Okay, so now is it installed? And now you just want to uh, click restart now, and it'll restart um, your uh, virtual box. And I'll get back to you as soon as it's done restarting. Okay, for this, you just want to press uh, enter once you get to there. And it's going to start up again. So it looks something like that, like this.
Okay, so this is where you uh, log in. Oops. So the the login is root, and the press enter, and the password is uh, root backwards. So T O O R, and you won't be able to see the you won't be able to see the password. So just press enter, and it will go to something like that. So just press start X. And there you have it. You have backtrack 5R3 on a, on a fully working uh, virtual box. And so comment, rate, subscribe, please. If there's any questions, you're getting area any errors, I will um, go, uh, uh, quick. I will try my best to answer them. Thank you guys for um, all the views. And I looked at my last video today, and I had 2,000 views, and I had. Double the subscribers from la uh, two weeks ago, and I just I uh, thank you so much. It really helps me. Um, so thanks, guys, for watching. Again, if you have any questions, I will try to answer them. Thanks.